What's going on, YouTube family? It's your boy, Tell, and we are back with another episode of Televisions. Today, we're going to be going back into the studio, showing some studio photography with Mariah. We got two dope concepts that we came up with. Check out this mood board right here. So, right here, we got some dope looks. My favorite look is the photo with Shorty got the orange top and orange bottoms with the black boots. I really kind of wanted to emulate that feel within this first concept. So... It's really uh, one of my favorite looks. And then the second part is we really kind of switched it up. I really like Shorty who got the uh, chair as an instrument. I want to be able to kind of use that, but just use different props. And it came out <laughs> real different, but it came out just the way I desired it to look. Before we even get any further though, man, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video. Let's get this up, man, and let's get straight to it. So today we're gonna be shooting Portrait 800. I decided to go with this film just to compensate for the large aperture I'll be using. I know I'll be using the large aperture just because I wanted to get the texture of the background and also of the cloth that I'll be using under the chair on one of the looks. So it really helped me out and also too gave me some nice grain and I did to get this developed in high resolution. So it really came out pretty nice. So within this first look, within the lighting setup, I wanted to go with an umbrella. So I put an umbrella right behind me to be as the main light. And then I put two lights on, at a 45 degree on the left and right side of the subject and had it hitting the backdrop so I can have those whites bounce on her, but also because I wanted a clean white in the back. I also wanted to pull out the backdrop as well, just so I don't get any shadows from my subject on the backdrop. So a technique I use within shooting a lot is usually going tight and then coming out wide. So I start off with some portraits and then I go medium and then I go wide. All right, y'all, so within this second look, I wanted to switch things up a bit, so I threw a gel in one of the soft boxes so I can get like a nice orange hue in the background. And then I wanted to get the umbrella, put it at a 45 degree angle, like on the right side of my subject, so I can get like a nice uh, ray of light and some nice shadows, because people be scared of shadows, I love them. You know what I'm saying? It builds dramaticism and it tells a story. On this next look, I wanted to put down the cloth on the floor. I really like that photo and the mood board with Shorty, she was sitting on this yellow chair and it had a cloth under it. I kind of want to do that same feel, but I wanted it to be colorful rather than just a plain color. And I feel like that was going to bring out her a lot just because she was wearing very simple colors, whites, blacks, and grays. So uh, it was going to bring her out and make her stand out. So after laying down the cloth, after putting the gel in the light, I got to get some test shots. So make sure you get you some test shots on digital before you shoot your film because film costs money or if you got a light meter, test it from that. Make sure too, when you are shooting strokes, make sure you're going down a stop when you are shooting, when you find that nice look on digital so it can compensate for the light when you are getting it developed and etc. Within this second look, I wanted to utilize any props that I could. So I started off with this dope chair and then after getting some nice shots on this, I wanted to get some wide and some tights and then I wanted to switch over and get some high angled shots. So I brought um, a high angle, suggest something that's more subtle. Um, so with that and having a mist filter on my RB67, it's gonna give like that dreamy, that glowy feel. So she's gonna look precious. So after getting some high angles with that, I wanted to use some apple boxes just to get some nice portraits just of her face. So I just utilized two of them and uh, stacked them on top of each other. And this is what I got. Thank you guys for tuning in today's video. Make sure you guys, mm -mm -mm. thank you guys for tuning in today's video. If you are new, make sure you like. Uh, 
Thank you guys for tuning in today's video. If you are new, make sure you subscribe and join the YouTube family. If you are here, man, make sure you like and comment below. Let me know if you're enjoying these videos and what else you want to see. Without further ado, man, we are out of here, yo. Keep shooting. Peace. Mm.